With the recent update of Dunder, I think we can all agree that life never looked this exciting for the procedural generation abilities of geometry nodes. Which is why in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the best new geometry node generators and procedural generators that will improve your workflow. Whether it be for generating ropes, grass, forests, or even roads. So make sure to stick till the end because I'm confident you will find something useful. We're gonna start with this GeoNode library called DJH Trends. This one here has too many details to cover in a short period of time. But the idea behind it is that it works with what we call strands, which is the developer's way of referring to 20 different modifiers in the add-ons toolbox. For the first one, you have placers. And in a nutshell, they create new curves based on the type of stand that you want to create, such as connecting points between different assets, wrapping around models, and not tighteners. For the second category, you have filters, and basically they can add effects and behaviors to an existing curve like adding waviness and smoothness, and if you wish to combine it with something else, you could maybe use the third category, in the form of appenders, which is the ability to add new strands along the original one. For example, wrapping a new one around it, or adding them as knots. And last but not least, you have meshes, and essentially they turn strands into one of the available meshes. For example, a chain, braids, and of course ropes, along with many more modifiers, tools, and other features. Also, from the same developer, we have tools like TerraNode, which is a collection of 8 geometry node-based modifiers, in addition to 7 presets for the scatter modifiers and 12 low-poly scatter assets, among many more, which combines the two fundamental principles of terrain creation, manually placing the details where it matters, and the system handles the rest of the environment automatically. The workflow typically starts with a terrain-based modifier as a way to generate the basic details of the terrain, and then build on top of it by generating cliffs, rivers, rocks, you name it. However, the twist is, instead of making everything randomly, you could make use of a set of guide curves to place details where you want them to be, and you can also easily go back and edit them however you want, among many other features like shading and asset scattering. Also, from the same developer, we have a tool called Geometry Node Assets, which is a series of small tools to do different stuff. With that in mind, it is considered a collection that currently has more than 65 nodes, and obviously, I can't cover all of them in this video. But for example, you have superior Aryan tools for Blender, and many procedural modeling tools like building walls and bevels, cutting holes, and even instancing on faces as well as roof building tools, stairs, deformers, scattering, and the list goes on. Next, we have Geotagger from 3D Vision. I don't know if you noticed, but Blender has its own annotation tool that can be a great solution for things like teaching or writing small notes. But Geotagger takes it a step further. As you can see, it is an easy and a fun system that actually has many nice features, such as, for example, the ability to add two tags simultaneously or incorporating your annotation into an elegant and customizable text box, as well as the ability of projecting the annotations directly onto the screen and making them visible and accessible from any viewing angle. The text itself can also be edited by changing elements such as distance, size, or emission, or even editing the text box or animation. The next GeoNode add-on or generator is called Multi-Index Selector. The idea behind Multi-Index Selector is really simple. Basically, it makes Blender similar to Houdini in one aspect, by offering you the ability to enter and select indexes and index ranges, and you can do this by entering them one by one. And before that throws you off, it is a way to select many specific points or faces in your geometry node system by listing their numbers, which you can then use for animation, modeling, or anything else. And while that sounds so simple, funny enough, it was never this easy. And we can say goodbye to these days of using multiple math nodes and all that jazz just to make a selection, which would have taken a considerable amount of time. The next one is simply called Grass. Well, the name says it all for this one, but in a nutshell, 
it is recently released add-on that comes forth as a procedural grass generation tool thanks to the power of geometry nodes. And for any artist who desires to add vegetation to their scenes, this can be useful. And it does so by giving you full control over the grass parameters and its look, such as how dense it is, its size, or by playing around with seed settings to keep things looking fresh and generate unique random variation every time. And to achieve this, the animal comes packed with 12 types of grass that you can choose from, 8 kinds of weeds, 2 calling systems, and 2 simulation systems. However, what's really impressive is the attention to detail, since they come with accurate heights and realistic materials. For our next tool, we have Roadscape. And my favorite part about this one is that it is a simple road generation tool and takes a much unique system to build road systems and networks. The way it works is simple as I said. You will have to select the terrain where you want to build your roads. Then if you look closely, you can see a small road asset from the add-on. And then if you extend it with geometry nodes, you will get the road structure you desire with a fully customizable roadside width and so on as well as support for intersections, bridges, tunnels, and roundabouts, among many other things, such as auto intersection merging, terrain and road smoothing, and a procedural road mesh UV unwrapping. To achieve this, the animal comes under the shape of a simple user interface that features all the details you will need, such as the terrain of the streets, subdivision level, and the draw terrain feature. And together with all those tools, you'll be able to create something that looks nice. And to wrap things up, let's talk about Tropical Beach Forest Painter, which is, in a nutshell, a tool that helps you easily generate all sorts of majestical tropical forests. And it actually offers you versatile features with an intuitive workflow, in addition to an impressive collection of optimized and nice-looking assets. As a starting point, like we have seen, it is known as the Forest Painter. And under the spirit, a better way to use it is using a virtual pen, if you will, to draw the areas where you want to paint your forest to grow on certain surfaces, which gives you the luxury of shaping your forest however you want and according to your projects. And since it is based on geometry nodes, the forest themselves can be edited too, by changing, for example, how dense the forest is or which assets to use, like you can use various tropical trees, plants, and foliage. And there you have it guys, if you are interested in one of these procedural generators or geometry node generators, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you guys very much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.